Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. It's for ages 7 plus. The set number is 75280 and it is 285 pieces and there was two bags. So let's get into this. Okay, so first we're going to review the figures. So I figured I would start with the droids. So um, here you can see these are the generic droids except without stud shooters. And um, nothing has seemed to change with the new design for 2020. It's just, you know, same old droids. Here's a side angle. And then also a back, still the same studs, so. Yeah, but it did come with two droids. If you got multiple of these, say you got three, you would get six droid, six droids. I think I did that math right. So that's pretty good. And next we'll get to the clone troopers. All right, here are the clones. I don't, I did only do two because there's only two variants. Sorry about my hand shaking so much. I don't have the most steady hand, but either way. So uh, there's three of these guys that you can see my finger pointing to. And there's one jet trooper. So I guess I'll start with the jet trooper. So if you've seen the new season, the clone war season seven, You've seen the Jet Troopers from the Battle of Mandalore and the episode that leads to that. So, um, they got it pretty accurate. I really like the design with the red and all the helmet printing. I also like the blue rocket pack and the design they made for the gun. It looks like they're trying to make like a DC-15C or something like that. And then the next one we have is the normal clone trooper. Somehow it's managing the focus even though my hand's shaking so much. But, um, you know, it's just the generic clone trooper. At first, when I first saw the pictures for this, I actually didn't think I was going to like the uh, white belt piece that much. Uh, I'm trying to point to it, kind of. I was gonna. I thought it kind of looked ugly at first, but it actually looks really good now that I look at it. So, um, I'm glad these didn't come with stud shooters and they came with normal guns. One thing that I'm not the hugest fan with that they did for the helmet on these guys is the actually like the gray cheek thing. But besides that, I like all the figures, so now we will get on to the ATRT. So I'm pretty sure that I said ATRT, but I didn't mean to say ATRT, so if I did, I meant Mark Speeder. Just gonna fix that quickly. Um so this is my favorite design i think for bark speeder that they've done yet uh it flows really nice i really like the front shape one of these days I might get something so i don't have to pick this up and show my hand while i do this uh stud shooters for play feature two on this uh i i liked how they use like the ski pieces that uh on right there uh, i like the design of that looks nice back is also really nice there's like three stickers used on this i think um they made like these little guns i thought at first they're supposed to be taken off and used but it turns out they're actually like part of the guns of the speeder handlebars are really like and the back is the back so now let's look at the back of the instruction book all right so here's the atrt unfortunately I will start off with, we did end up getting a stud shooter. I really wish we didn't, but I can understand for, you know, like, play features. Um, a lot of the stickers that came with this on the sticker sheet actually um, were just for the front of this thing. Like, all of these and that, and uh, that that's all stickers. But they did, like they always do with ATRT, it's a pretty good representation of, you know, the shape. And for the legs, I also, there is a sticker right there. I think the camera can see it. But uh, I also like how they did all these like blue plates and stuff and along with that blue. I think it makes the design really flow. Uh, you've got the antenna, looks really nice. Back clips, I'm assuming for weapons or I forgot to put something there, one of the two. Um, it's got something so that, hold on, if I can get a minifigure quickly. I don't know if it was actually designed to be used for this, but it's the plate things with those studs on either side so you can have a guy standing on there if you really want and also uh in mnr's video you've probably watched it if not uh, i don't know why you don't but um he showed that you can put a minifigure on here and the handlebars don't come off or the handlebars don't come off 
when you actually pull the minifigure off, which is good for once. A printed piece on the inside, along with the handlebars. Uh, they did scale it down, hold on, if I show you a minifigure compared to it. It is a little more minifigure scaled than last time. Realistically, it's still a little bit out of scale. Hold on. Move back a little further so you can really see the scale. Um, yeah, and then there's the back, you know, just pretty generic back. So, uh, next, let's get on to the ATRT. So, on the back of the instruction book, this shows all the sets we got last year. I have, like, two out of the bunch, maybe three or four. I have, like, five out of the bunch, actually. Six. So, I'll just actually show you the ones I have. I have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, that's already five. Then I have this one and this one. So, that's actually six. I actually have six out of these. And then, you know, it just shows the pieces and the win. But, all right. That is going to be the end of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not. And have a good day.